Welcome back. It's the final show in the 2009-2010 Children's Series, and we're lucky enough to have them stop by today. Joining me from the Charleston Ballet's The Little Mermaid, welcome Stephen Gabriel and Christina Slayton. How you doing? Good, how are you? All right, and what is your character? we got to get that out of the way. I play Ursula the Sea Witch. The Sea Witch, which is <laughs> an octopus. Yes. That's why your outfit is so, I don't know, uh, tentacly. I have eight legs. <laughs> there you go. Very cool. So why did we pick The Little Mermaid to end the season? It's my favorite production, uh, Broadway musical ever, and I've wanted to do it for a long time. Um, I auditioned children at the beginning of the season, uh, which was in September, and we've been working on it for nine months now, and we're just really excited to get it on the stage. Nine months. Now, this will be part of Piccolo Spoleto. Yes. A, a we'll, big deal. Yeah, tell us a little bit about that. We'll do two... two per, Two productions, one on the 15th and 16th, and then later on in Piccolo, we'll do uh, four more productions of The Little Mermaid for the community. Very nice. And you know, this, like I said, is a timeless classic, and, and my wife loves this, my three-year-old loves this show. Um, how excited are you to be a part of this? I'm very excited. Um, I get to dance alongside of uh, four company men, and as well as younger students and girls my own age. And Ursula, I love her character. She's so fiery and really, yeah, I, I'm, it's an honor to play her. Yeah, you know what? And we do have another character, obviously, that uh, there you go. And I'm guessing that's <laughs> the, the Little Mermaid herself. That, yes, it is. Very nice. You know, and, and you know, a lot of preparation goes into this. I mean, what's the hardest part about, you know, pulling off this play, The Little Mermaid? Well, there's many, many rehearsals. So, of course, being in attendance to them, as well as, not so much the dancing, but learning the character and what you have to portray as, you know, your character. So that was a challenge for me, but I'm really excited. And for you, Stephen, what, what is so great about being part of this production and putting this on? It's working with the children for such a long period of time. I work with some of these children for about five or six years, and some of them are going to now be going off, including Ursula, to college. And uh, it's nice to have seen their development over the years, and they get to put on this production and show the community what they are capable of. And watch them grow. Let's talk about tickets and how people can get involved in and definitely check out the show, The Little Mermaid, that's happening. You can buy tickets at the Charleston Ballet located at 477 King Street or you can uh, call 723-7334. You can also go to our website at www.charlestonballet.org. And that will let you know what else is going on and how to get tickets and what is coming up for next season. For next season, uh, the ballet is putting on Alice in Wonderland. Okay. We're doing Romeo and Juliet and of course the Nutcracker like we do annually every Some every more season. more classics. All right, definitely we guys definitely check out the show. It's great for all ages. Big children, young children, small children, everybody loves it. All right, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you, thank you for you. having us. All right. Well, his fashion credits regularly grace the covers of top fashion magazines. And after the break, we'll check in with celebrity stylist Philip Block for a peek at his summer's hottest trends. Stick around. <laughs> 